Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you what it's like to live with a Tesla Model Y and use it as your daily driver. Having owned the Model Y Performance for nearly a year now, and the Model Y Long Range for nearly two years now, I have a lot of information to share with you guys. So in this video we'll cover three main categories, which include getting used to driving an electric vehicle, charging, and maintenance. I'll also cover some aspects of an electric vehicle that you may not have even considered before, and to some people it can be deal breakers. So sit back, relax, and let's dive in. First, let's discuss what it's like getting used to driving a Tesla when you're coming from a standard gas car. I must say that after driving a Model Y, I do not think that I'll be going back to a gas car anytime soon as my daily driver. The speed, reliability, autopilot, and fun factor are all amazing things about the Model Y that you don't get in a regular car. When you initially start driving a Tesla, there can tend to be a period of time that requires getting used to it. From the most obvious of regenerative braking to overall just how the car drives. With regen braking, as soon as you start letting off the throttle, the car starts to seem like it's applying the brakes. Essentially, think of it as Tesla's do not coast. As soon as you start letting off, the car starts to recapture the kinetic energy and it stores it back into the battery, improving your efficiency. You rarely have to use your brakes and that's thanks to one pedal driving. This is a very convenient feature of a Tesla and one that you won't fully understand until you've experienced it for yourself. Next, let's talk about the design. The design of a Tesla Model Y has been a somewhat controversial topic since its release. Some people appreciate the sleek, futuristic aesthetic of the vehicle, while others find it somewhat polarizing. However, there is no denying that the Model Y's design is incredibly aerodynamic, with its sloping roofline and smooth lines, reducing air resistance and improving efficiency. The vehicle's large panoramic glass roof also adds to the overall futuristic look of the car, as well as allowing for plenty of natural light to enter the cabin. Personally, I gotta say, I'm a fan of the Model Y's design. Now I know some people might find it a bit plain or unexciting, but for me that can be one of its strengths. The overall minimalism of the Model Y gives it a clean and sophisticated look that I think complements the car's tech-forward features really well. The minimalism obviously extends to the interior where the car has a large touchscreen display in a center console that controls everything from climate to the music. It takes some time getting used to, but once you do, it's incredibly intuitive. Now let's talk about the driving experience from a daily driving perspective. The Model Y is an electric car, so naturally it's incredibly smooth and quiet. The acceleration is instant and the car handles like a dream. Plus, with autopilot, driving on the highway has never been easier. The Model Y's electric motors generate an incredible amount of torque, providing a unique driving experience that I've never felt in any other car. The 3.5 second 0 to 60 time is quick, and when you hit the throttle, it's like being on an airplane or a roller coaster ride. The throttle response is instantaneous with absolutely no delay. Having owned the long range Model Y for nearly two years now, I can confidently say that the performance Model Y is noticeably quicker. Don't get me wrong though, the long range Model Y is plenty fast with a 4.8 second 0 to 60 time, but the performance is just quicker at 3.5 seconds and is definitely noticeable. Both models have impressive acceleration, which can come handy in situations where you need to quickly avoid an accident. Electric cars have better torque performance than traditional combustion engines, resulting in superior acceleration. The Model Y performance's 0-60 time can beat most cars on the road. When it comes to the Tesla Model Y, the performance version comes with a 21-inch Uber turbine wheels as standard, resulting in a sportier driving experience. As a general rule, larger wheels can lead to a rougher ride, so it's best to stick with smaller wheels if you're after the smoothest ride possible. That being said, after driving both the long range Model Y with the 19 inch Gemini wheels and the performance version with the 21 inch Uber turbine wheels, it's not so cut and dry in my opinion. The performance Model Y is still quite comfortable even with the larger wheels and the lower profile tires. The seats on the Model Y are also incredibly comfortable and make driving long distances very easy. The Performance Model Y takes things to the next level in terms of handling. With its 21-inch wheels, performance brakes, and lowered suspension, the Model Y Performance is the perfect choice for anyone seeking a more intense driving experience. Its ability to smoothly navigate sharp turns with added confidence and ease makes it stand out from the long-range Model Y. Despite its weight of over 4,500 pounds and having seating for five, the Performance feels incredibly lightweight when pushed to its limits. There are no compromises with the 5-seater car, making it truly an enjoyable vehicle to drive. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future. Also, tick that notification bell to not miss a single video. 
Your support means a lot. Let's get into charging. One of the best things about owning a Tesla is the convenience of charging. When having an EV as your daily driver, it certainly will change a lot of things on how you refuel it. Firstly, you can use the mobile connector from Tesla to plug it into the standard 110 volt wall outlet. However, this is the slowest and least convenient way to charge your Tesla, as it adds about 3 miles of range per hour charge. This method is only practical if you have a short daily commute. The second option is to install a 240V NEMA 1450 outlet in your home. This can be done by hiring an electrician to run wiring from your breaker box to your outlet, and it provides you with about 30 miles of range per hour charged. Alternatively, you can purchase a Tesla wall connector and have it hardwired to your breaker box, which is the fastest and most convenient way to charge your Tesla at home, adding about 44 miles of range per hour charged. The third option for charging a Tesla is to use a Tesla supercharging network. Tesla owns and operates the largest global fast charging network in the world with over 45,000 superchargers located along major routes near convenient amenities. Superchargers are designed for road trips and not for everyday charging and they can add up to 200 miles of range in just 15 minutes. With a Tesla app you can monitor your charge status, view supercharger stall availability, or even get notified when you're ready to go. Since charging above 80% is rarely necessary, stops are typically short and convenient. There are additional things that you can purchase for your Tesla that can be hard to pass up on. These things can either enhance your daily driving or provide some sort of value. The first ones being paint protection film and ceramic coating. Teslas do not have traditional front grills, which means that there is more surface area for rock chips and other road debris to potentially damage it. Installing paint protection film can help mitigate these damages. I got several quotes from PPF shops near me and these quotes were quite insane. They ranged from $1,500 to $4,000 just for the front bumper and the hood. Ultimately, I decided to give it a try myself and I ordered a kit from Amazon and applied the paint protection film. It's important to have an open mind and plenty of patience when doing this. Next, I applied a ceramic coating to my Tesla. I made a video where I explained why a ceramic coating is beneficial and showed step by step how to apply it yourself. Essentially, a ceramic coating is a sacrificial layer that you apply on top of your clear coat or PPF and it protects against things like UV rays, bird droppings, tree sap, and other elements of that sort. It also has self-cleaning properties that make maintenance washes much simpler and easier to do as long as you prep the car correctly. Applying a ceramic coating was easy for me since my Tesla was brand new and I did it within the first few weeks of owning it. Other expenses include various accessories like floor mats, screen protectors, center console trays, mud flaps, and anything else you can think of. I made a video where I showed the best and must-have accessories for Tesla owners, and I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out. I'll also link all of my favorite accessories that I've vetted to be of high quality and that I personally recommend. These links will also be in the description below for your convenience. So remember, when buying a Tesla, don't forget to budget for these additional optional expenses. Paint protection film and ceramic coating can help protect your investments, and accessories can enhance your driving experience. Again, links to everything mentioned will be in the description below. When it comes to daily driving, maintenance is always a question that comes up. With electric vehicles, maintenance is very minimal, especially with a Tesla. In fact, I recently made an in-depth video of all of the expenses of my Model Y long range at 20,000 miles, and you'd be surprised at just how low the maintenance cost was. In that video, I break down all of the expenses of the Model Y long range, including charging costs, insurance, and maintenance. And while the maintenance cost was minimal, it's important to note that the Model Y still requires some basic maintenance, such as tire rotations and air cabin filter replacements. One of the best things about owning a Tesla is the low cost of ownership. With no oil changes, no spark plugs to replace, and no timing belts to worry about, the maintenance of an EV is minimal. Plus, Tesla's software updates can be done over the air, which means there's no need to take your car to the service center for updates. Compared to the maintenance of a gas-powered car, the cost of maintaining a Tesla is significantly lower. So if you're considering purchasing a Model Y, don't let the question of maintenance hold you back. After spending time with a Model Y long range and performance, experiencing the great driving experience, handling, charging capabilities, and exploring the minimal maintenance needs, I can confidently say that I recommend the Model Y to anyone considering an electric vehicle. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and tick that notification bell to not miss a single video. Also, comment down below your thoughts on the Model Y. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.